All right. Well, welcome to the Vester Tunnels, the old mining site. Should be a good time. Anyway, welcome to Stream Frog. How are you doing tonight? Wasn't ignoring you. Just had a little scene to listen to. Um, how you doing? Welcome. Um, based on the map, I'm gonna go look over here first. Flamestone chip, chip, chipity chip, chip. Give me chips. Give me, give me chips. I'll go that way in a sec. Just gotta loot all the shiny stuff. Ooh, is that a regular? Oh yeah, it's like a zombie looking enemy. Okay. Did I start late tonight? No, I started around 5 o'clock my time, which is about right. I think I went live a little bit before 5 and uh, got started on this game about 5. I've already been going for over an hour. Maybe you got the notification late or something? Oh. Oh. Sneaky hole. Oh. Sneaky hole. You didn't get any notifications. Well, that sucks, sir. Because there's definitely... i uh, pretty sure there was one in the Discord, which I know you're not in. Usually I tweet it out, which I did. And, uh, yeah, if Twitch doesn't give you the notif, I don't know what else to say. If that's what you go off of, sorry to sorry that you didn't get one. Anyway, we got a slow ward. I don't think I have one of those yet. That's new, I'm pretty sure. Nobody else is learning anything, or finished learning anything, right? Okay, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Don't want to waste my time when I'm not learning nothing. Speaking of learning nothing something, let's fight all the new stuff, like these armored centipedes, which aren't really new, but are kind of new. Very weak to hit an arch, you say? Well, let me get my shit built up and then fuck your shit! No escape! What are these, by the way? They're crustaceans? I think one of my moves on the circle button is crustacean. At least one of them. I'm getting chains, so that's a good sign. No escape. Woo! Get that weapon. That's the end for you! The girl power squad. Alright, I like the pose. I like it. Fucking Charlie's Angel style. Let's go. Is this an enemy? Totally is. Rock Golem. Oh boy. The biggest enemy we've come across so far that's not a boss. What are you weak to? Weak to wind. And they're armored. Okay, hold up. I know I have a wind armor move, or at least wind. Don't I have a... What was my armor move? Megasonic Thrust? Okay. Well. I could just... Put the Megasonic Thrust up here. You know what? Let's put Megasonic Thrust right here. That's triangle, okay. Damn it. Hold on. Yeah. Hurricane Thrust! Must have been a 30 second period where you logged into Twitch because of the special event email you got from them. They don't send notifications for you if you're on the site. That's weird. Yeah, that is. That's kind of annoying, Frog. I don't. I don't know how else to help you out with notifications if. I guess if you're not in the right place, right time. Just know that I stick to my schedule pretty good, man. If you're looking forward to my stream on any day, just know that I hold to it pretty good most days. Doesn't hurt to just check during the time frame when you expect me to be on. Just saying. I don't know how well you keep up with the time, like, on an hourly basis, but yeah. My schedule's pretty uh, much the same every week in general, like, the days I start. Pretty consistent. Um, nothing else in this area? Okay, going this way then. Or fragment. You ate, li you ate late tonight? Uh, okay, that's fair. Well then, don't worry about it. You're here now, and that's all that matters.
guess I'll find another one of these golems. Armor Crusher! No matter what you use on these fuckers, weakness or no, they're just, they're just big old tanky rock motherfuckers. That's all there is to it. They hit hard and have high defense. And you know what? They still get a whooping all the same, y'all. Mobius Loop. That's new. Get these crustaceons. That's some deep culture right there. Oh, hell yeah. We need to know the backstory as to why Velvet feels the way that she feels and feels the need to go to the beach in such a scantily clad outfit. There's some hot lore right there, I'm just telling you. Anyway, Rio, what's up, man? Welcome. How you doing? Where'd you leave off on uh, Ease? I was watching you for a while, obviously. I'm, I was happy when you beat Zava, finally. Um... I'm not sure where you left off though. Well, that about does it. Amber pendant, calcite pendant. Did somebody learn something there? I clicked through it accidentally. They did not. You gave Kishgal an attempt and then you stopped for today. Fair enough. Does it look like he's gonna take you another hour or two to get through him also? Is that what it feels like? Listen, Luffy said. What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? Sorry. I'm not asking Sorry. for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get. I want her to understand that I come first. So, what do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's all right. I understand. Oh, that's not what I mean. I'm number one. She's number two. If you don't believe me, just look at the poo that I'm about to lay on her face while she's sleeping. What? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> anyway, Kishkal is way slower than Epona, and it looks like it might be just a matter of leveling up since you inflict good damage, but you get hit for 35. That is unfortunate. Hopefully. I mean, you're going to be maximum level tomorrow anyways, right? Oh, right, Rio? Right? Right? Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but you'll be fine. If all you have to do is level up, then that's, you know, that's your forte, sir. Grind it out. Have we looked at Matt? Uh, oh, you want to you wanna look at Maggie Lou's outfits? Sure thing, sir. I assume that means you're going to redeem one, Tara. You may or may not be grinding at this very moment. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, admit nothing. <laughs> Yay. All right, we'll look at Moggy Lou's outfits, right? Yeah, let's do it. Moggy Lou. So right now she's wearing the Ansu Futaba complete, um, you know, idol outfit. But here are her alternate options. We have the regular one, obviously. We got her swimwear, which is pretty, uh, you know, pretty revealing. We also have her pirate outfit, which I do like as well. We got her Japanese clothes, which is nice. We got her maid uniform. We have, that's the idol outfit. We got the menagerie outfit. There you go. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and dwell on it, so... If you want to redeem it, let me know. I did not buy all the outfits, Rio. There are two packs I did not buy. I did not buy the Tails Legacy outfit uh, outfits because I didn't like any of them. None of them seemed recognizable to me. 
they all seem like from Tales games I haven't played. And I didn't really like how any of them looked on the characters, so I didn't bother. And then um, I didn't buy... There was one other pack I didn't buy, but that was the one that stood out to me that I probably would have bought if it was better outfits. But there was two that I didn't buy. I'm trying to remember what the other one was. But you know I had to buy the fucking swimsuits. I had to buy the fucking pirate outfits. I had to buy the idol... Come on, the girl idol outfits? Gotta have those. Gotta have those. And then, of course, the maid outfits, too. Maids and, uh, maids and butlers. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? You don't remember if this or Zestiria had the Evangelion pack? It's probably Zestiria, because I didn't see an Evangeli Evangelion pack uh, available, Rio. Anyway, two more moves have been learned. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, it looks like we have a redemption from Terra. To switch up Magi Lu's outfit to the maid outfit. Do you have a preference on hair? I guess we'll take a look at the hair real quick. So pay attention, Tara. You gotta pick the hair. Hairstyles. We got the original hat. We got basically the same thing, but without the hat. Or she's got a mini hat, I guess. Her summer style are these crazy ass coil pigtails. I guess the hat, the little crown hat, is um, an accessory. We can swap that out. Anyway, a pirate style is this sideways ponytail looking thing. Hapon is another fancy looking ponytail with some interesting hair on top uh, up front. Got these big old fucking orb pony pigtails. This is the one we were just had. And of course we have the menagerie style, which are fucking Junko pigtails from uh, Danganronpa. So uh, what, 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 what tickles your fancy there, Tara? What you, what you got? What looks good? Trying to think what I like with this particular outfit. This looks pretty good. This reminds me of Celeste from Danganronpa, honestly. Um, honestly, I like all of her hairstyles for the most part. I don't know if I really like this combo, even though this is the maid combo. Yeah, I think I, I like all of them. You like the Menagerie one? All right, we'll go with the Junko style. Any particular accessory that sounds good? I mean, it's all the same shit we've, all, we've had this whole time. I don't think I've got anything new. Except for maybe this halo. I don't know if you were here for that. But we got bangs. We got glasses. We got some color sunglasses, which are a little different. These pink ones. They actually match. <sighs> the rosy cheeks. Earring? Drop earring. What? Oh, I see. It's only on one ear. Bow tie. The rose. Spy glasses. We got all sorts of hats. All the floaty stuff is still here. The different ribbons on the hair. The other Viking, or Viking, uh, pirate stuff. A Viking, there is a Viking hat. Uh, little blue pirate hat. Ribbons. A kutsune, a kitsune fucking ears and tail, you know. It actually works pretty well with this outfit. Chef's hat. I don't even remember that one. Like, looking like that anyways. Apprentice notebook. Oh, it's on the side. Head servant. Monocle. Oh, she's got a monocle. Cat, the cat ears. That's very made, made esque. You want to go with the Kitsune ears? All right, done. They actually match perfectly with their hair, so that works. All right, moving on. You only get one pick because I don't want to sit here and do accessories all day. All right, fox ears for the win, indeed. Okay, moving on. Let's go. I learned moves. Let me not forget that too. All right, simple ribbon. I don't have a new ribbon to replace that, so she's stuck with that for now. Do I have another doll for her to use? Hell yeah, I do. I got tons of them. What's the cheapest one? We'll start with the cheapest. I guess we'll just... Yeah, we'll start with that one. Calcite doll. Here we go. All right, moving on. Booyah. Through the rocks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mother fo ho. What is this mother fo ho? A candle? What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away, like wards around old king's tombs. I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. There's only one thing to do. Oh! Some doors are sealed with a flame enchantment and cannot be opened by ordinary means, but by finding the ca lighting candles in the area, you can dispel enchantment and open the door. You may have to light more than one candle to open some doors. What is this? A legend of Zelda?
Yes. Yes, it is. It's Legend of Zelda. Okay, then. I assume if the door opens, it just stays open. This is not a timed event. Also, there is going to be a tough boy enemy over there. Hopefully, we can handle it. Can I cook anything else right now, by the way? Auto cook. I can make... So, Prickle Boar, I'm out of ingredients for. Dwarven Salisbury surprise. I don't have enough mystery meats for that. I do have the Mabo Curry ingredients. Let's go with that for now. And right now, Velvet is level 2 cooking, so that's cool. Alright, let me save it. And then we shall continue deeper into the mines of Moria. Or whatever this place is called. Vester. Vester Tunnels Mine. We didn't get to fight these zombies earlier. I kind of got sidetracked fighting other things. I wanted to try one of these zombie fights. Let's, let's give it a go. Zombie. There's a zombie in this game. We don't want zombies in all our games. And for those of you who weren't here yesterday, I did start up a new zombie game that I haven't played before called Dying Light. It's fun so far. I'm kind of looking forward to getting some new weapons, though, because I know the game started slow. We only played for a couple hours. Like, like, well, I like walking around and doing the parkour and stuff that's been in the game so far. I really would like some different weapons besides physical beat em upside the head weapons, which are fun to use. Don't get me wrong. They are fun. But I would like a gun, please. Even if I have limited ammo, it is a survival game after all. Let me get a gun. Let me get that gun, though. All right, let's check the secret passage first before I go look around some more. Ooh, this might actually just lead around to the uh, secret passage where the enemy, the hard enemy, is at. Very possible. 1,200 gold. I'll take it. We have not gotten to a shop yet, which concerns me a little bit, especially if we're about to fight. Oh, man, we are about to fight that hard thing, aren't we? Uh, we did just save it. Hopefully this goes okay. We're going to find out. Unfortunately, still don't have life bottles. I didn't find any yet either, right? Pretty sure I don't have any. I have zero. Magi Lu is so cute in this outfit. Yeah, she looked pretty good. I like all the girl outfits, man. They're all, they did a really good job with them in general. I would say the only downside to this one for Velvet is that she's got that no girl, that, that no booty white girl. she got that white girl no booty got thing going on. Which, I mean, some people are into that, so that's cool, you know. We will need All to ghoul away if it's your thing. Get rid of all these fucking basilisks before we worry about the big old snaky poo. No escape. We get rid of all of them? We totes did. All right. All right, what's the snake weak to, by the way? He's resistant to fire and earth, but he's weak to the whatever the fucking mountain-looking thing is. Huh. Okay, and he's an ap apodis fiend. Apodis fiend. Let me check this shit out real quick. Okay. So he's an apodis fiend. Do okay, let me just see what my moves are again. All right. Yeah, I have I have Apatis water. The water snake's wake is Apatis. And he's we, he was not immune to water, right? He was immune to wind and fire, I think it was. So I have one Apatis thing. I don't have any fiend things. And he was weak to this one. So if we start with Tearing Thorn. And we put in... Oh, the water snake wake. I like that. Mega Sonic Thrust would be good. Maybe finish it off with something that's uh something that's this one, Avalanche Fang. Actually this would be good. Yeah, let's do that. 
All right, let's try square. Quit guarding all my shit, bitch. That was nice. I like it. Can we do my fucking our, our trigger move, please? I'm pressing it. Oh shit, I do it twice in a row real fast. I didn't mean to. Oh well. Okay, we're about to do this too. No mercy! By Captain Insano, he shows no mercy. Don't be stunning my bitches. How dare you? And we are chaining this shit together real nice. Get fucked, Snake Boy. Going well so far. Just keep chaining together the R trigger move. Keep, like, keep building up an extra one. It's working out pretty well. Oh man. Here we go. Damn it, missed him. Oh, well, that was a long flurry of awesomeness. And it ended with my death, of course. Fuck my ass. This thing hits hard, man. I don't have any more life. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, here we go. Let's see how they fare. My two mages. They're fucked, aren't they? They're so fucked. I knew this was going to be a problem with no life bottles. Maki Lu needs punishment time. No, she doesn't. You stay away from her, FML. I wonder if these girls can win this without me. You think they're capable? They almost have it. I think they got this. I think they got this. Who needs Funky over here? They got this. Oh yeah, they won. They got this for sure. For sure. That was a Eleanor and Magi Lu for the win. Let's go. Doubles the effect rate for the first strike in battle. Nice. Sounds good. And our expedition is back. Perfect timing. I think I learned something there, too. Yep. Ah, Floric boots. I will hold on to those because I think somebody else can wear those first. This kid can work on... Oh, man, he's done with all the boots. Oh, no, he's not. Hard shoes. There you go. I need to put these boots on her, actually, because she needs something new to work on. There you go. Is she your Tifa now? Who's my Tifa? Maggie Lou? Maggie Lou is not on a in, on a Tifa level to any degree. She's entertaining. She's funny. I don't dislike her or anything like that. It's just it takes a lot to usurp Tifa from my brain. You know what I'm saying? Tifa is OG waifu. Like, for real, though. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Win, loss, win. Got some mystery meat. I actually need that to make the... Uh, the whatever fucking Salisbury whatever. We stand Magilu in this house. Well, not in my house, son. But anyway, we unlock the Azra Sea. So that's cool. Um, there's one more, again, we're missing a fucking material from here, uh, two materials from here, and one from here. But we did get all the other stuff, I'm pretty sure. We got all the special stuff. So I'm thinking let's just keep moving on to the next one, why not? Scout ship we'll worry about sail. grinding out the items we're missing later, when we have already finished up something. But while we keep having new stuff, let's keep working on it, shall we? Alright. Okay, so we defeated the tough monster. I really did not think that was going to happen. With no life bottles, my faith was at an all-time low. Also, how come... Did I not switch the cooking thing, or did we already use all the cooking? Oh, I forgot to switch it? You yes. sure you want me for... I didn't actually click the yes thing, that's why. That's what happened. Vel Velvet is my tails, Tifa? Not even close, sir. Not even close. If we're going to talk about tails, females that I truly uh, like, of the ones I've played, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Judith from Vesperia. I like her a lot. 
And I also, from the original, or the original, I call it the original, the first one I ever played, uh, Symphonia, I'm a big fan of Sheena. To give you an example of who I am more of a fan of. Also, I forgot to heal Shiz Nuggets. Do I get a high five for my choices, Rio? I guess I'm just gonna let my squad win this without me. I guess I could control them. How do I control them? Like this? No. How do I do it again? How did I? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm fucking up here. I'm actually switching my shit accidentally. All right, let me get to Rokuro real quick. There we go. This is what I wanted. You like Mila from Zillia? Well, I haven't played Zillia, so I don't have an opinion on that bitch. Sheena, the purple haired girl who looks sort of like a Kunoichi. I mean, she's a ninja, so whatever, however you, whatever you want to call it, sir. That's what she is. Okay, so this area is clear. We can just go this way now. The point is, Sheena's awesome. So, uh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I got no opinion on anything from Zillia. I haven't played enough Tales game to have an opinion on all waifus, obviously. But this is the first one I've played in a long-ass time, and I'm enjoying it. So. And honestly, if I'm going to go purely on looks, just on the party members I have, I actually like Eleanor the best. If we're going to go purely on looks alone. Not going to lie. Velvet has the dark hair, but that's about it. That's about all. Well, okay, she's got, she got the boobies, but I'm pretty sure Eleanor also does underneath there somewhere. It looks like no one is injured. It looks like no one's injured. All right, calcite daggers are done. Noise. Scorching daggers. Anything else besides those? No. Scorching daggers, you're up. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it, got it, good, get it, got it, got it, good. What? Mm. I believe that's a shop dude, right? It's probably the turtle guy. Titles? What is titles? Boobs are nice, but what about that ass? That was my point. Velvet doesn't have one of those. We're looking at it right now. That doesn't exist. That was kind of my point. All right, turtles kid. What up? I need bottles, sir. Sell me bottles. Popping bottles in the club. Need some bottles in the club. Not no bottles in the club. Need more prickle board meat and stuff. All right, first of all, I'm going to buy like 20 of these just because I have none left. I'll load up on some nut pe nutmeg to match it as well. Tofu and Dojan, Dobanjang can wait. Okay. Otherwise, we're buying, like, I'm going to buy 10 life bottles just in case we find some. But I had zero, though, so that was bad. Uh, and we'll buy anything I don't already have one of. So, Floric Spear, Floric Talisman, Floric Bag, Floric Belt, Floric Waistcoat, which is clearly the next set of stuff. Buy it up. I'm, well, I'm probably going to find one of all those things here real soon. Your order, <laughs> FML has an order if you guys care, but it's face, ass, then tits. Wow. In that order, huh? <laughs> wow. Alrighty then, sir. I didn't get a new ribbon for her yet. 
I didn't get anything new right now. But I'm sure we will find some new stuff eventually. I'm just glad that we found a shop for life bottles, because that was a detriment to me being able to fight hard enemies. Now we're good. Oh. Guess who? No. Well, if you aren't the craziest demon, your body's harder than your own sword. Who's this? That's Lord Shigure, one of the only two Lord legate Sugar Ray. in the entire abbey. <laughs> A legate, same as Melchior. Eleanor, fancy meeting you here. What the hell happened to you? You get captured by a demon? Or are you a turncoat? Uh, I... I'm... Eh, don't matter. I do my own thing. I got no standing to tell you how to live. Still, today's my lucky day. Never thought I'd encounter the one and only Stormquell. Shigure, I think someone over there wants your attention. Who's Looks the fat lonely. kitty? I like it. You're right, I'm being a jerk. Just can't pass up the chance to tease my little brother. <gasps> They're brothers? No way. Can I, Rokuro? Joking, obviously. Your brother? You haven't changed a bit, Shigure. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either, brother. 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 Wait, you're a demon? <laughs> now it's getting good. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? <laughs> I'll handle him. Lafayette said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. Okay. I have to use Rokuro? I don't wanna! I'm not ready for this, bro. This isn't winnable. There's no way this is winnable. Very weak to hidden arts. Oh, maybe this is winnable. He doesn't have that much HP. Fuck. Okay, hold up. What do we have here? I've never even gone through Rokuro's stuff to see what he fucking has. Ah, <sighs> so many moves! Okay, hold on. What does he have? Does he have anything for humans, specifically? Nothing for humans, right? Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Uh... Form 1. Form 2. Form 3. Bearing my life last time! <laughs> Dude, I already fucking lost. Am I supposed to try and survive this? I guess I'm gonna try. Again, I don't know if I'm supposed to win this or not. But the amount of damage he does. Come on. I'm done. I'm already done. Oh my god, we do have to win this. Oof. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. Okay, okay, okay. I am not sure what to even bother with here. Give it a shot. Here we go. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. Caught you. See this? I'll stop. See this? It's a flash. I just don't know what the point of, like, building up the things are when you're in this fucking fighting style. I don't know. God, no. No. The stun, man. I was going to heal. Oh, my God. This is going to be bad. I might have to go back and buy some more gels. I mean, I could buy... I have enough gels to fight with, but, like, this is not going to end well. You're dead. I'll make you regret. 
Or I can go up. Oh, you know what? I should upgrade weapons. That's what I should do. All right. You know what? After I lose this attempt, inevitably, I'm going to go upgrade weapons. That's what I'm going to do. I was like, what can I do to get stronger here? Besides level up, which I don't think will help me that much. Weapon level ups. That could be good. Not too shabby. And I might be better off having semi auto on right now, too. Just because I'm like making sure I don't want to waste my attacks. I'm gonna make sure my hits, my attacks actually hit, you know? Come on now. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Let's go level up. I'm just not doing enough damage fast enough because this battle, battle is gonna take forever. Also, crap. When was the last time I saved? I know I saved it when I was in here, but man. Oh, this is okay. Fuck. Ah, oh, rip indeed. Hey, Mara. Welcome back. How's the stream going? It's going okay. Uh, the fight against Rokuro's brother, not going to go well. Just saying. Not going to go well. You sure? Is this after or before I switched her outfit? Okay, it's after. Okay, so... Oh my god, this is after I fought the fucking dude? Oh, no. Okay. This sucks. Oh. Just gonna pop in here and say they need to do a lot more perfect dodges to fill up those soul slots. I'm more concerned about doing some damage. I was doing nothing for damage. So I'm gonna go buy some fucking uh, bottles. <sighs> I forgot this is before I fought that fucking... Ugh. Ugh. I've gotten pretty far since the last time you checked. I mean, I haven't gotten that far, Mara, but sure. I don't need two of these. Okay, I bought 20 of these, 15 of these. I bought 10 life bottles. He doesn't have the better healing items, though. Yeah, this is going to come down to just doing some damage. So, let's see if we can enhance the, uh... The, uh... The Scorching Daggers. I know he's going to finish these soon, but let's see if I can get these better. Bronze Scraps? Fuck yeah. Enhance those fuckers. Enhance those fuckers, yes. In fact, I'm going to enhance the ones he's using right now, too. Because why not? I got tons of shit. Why not? In fact, I'm going to fucking up everybody's shit. Why not? Fuck it. If they're a physical attacker, fuck it. Or just fuck it. Use it for everybody. I don't give a shit. As long as I got the fragments, like, whatever. Who cares? I can dismantle it later for, for, for better shit. So, who gives a fuck? You've been trying to mess with me, but I'm onto your shenanigans? Of course I am, FML. You can't, you can't mess with me, really. You can try. You can try it as you might. I'm going to use that one soon because it's pretty good. Shell Shredder. Okay. Uh, for now, let's go back and uh, fight that hard monster now. Do that again real quick. And then we'll save it again. And then we'll be ready for fighting douchebag bro, but bro man again. I didn't know he would pop up. I mean, we didn't save it that long ago, but I'm more annoyed that I I found him after I fought this fucking monster over here. I didn't realize that was gonna happen, and I forgot when you, I forgot I had saved it that far back. It was before I fucking killed this fucking thing. God fucking fuck.
I don't think FML was planning to buy Animal Crossing tomorrow. I think he was just going to borrow his little nephews, right? Or, like, buy it from his nephew or whatever. But I guess he hasn't done that. All right. Oh, the snake moved. Never mind. Never mind. All right, snakey poo. Oh, I forgot to start my next expedition. I forgot to do that. Oh, well. I'll do that in a minute. I shall do it after this fight. Didn't I set up a specific chain for that snake? I think I did. Get crushed, son. Oh, damn, she murdered all them snakes. Okay, hold up. I forgot. Okay, hold up. What was it again? He was... He's Apodius, Apodius, and Fiend, and he's weak to that. Okay, so I think what I did is I changed this triangle setup to have Avalanche Fang, and I changed this one to the Water Snake. Yeah, yeah. So that was my triangle move set. I think that's what I went with. All my weapons are all leveled up and shit, so I should be doing a little more damage in general. So that'll be nice. Wake up, Zelda. Oh yeah, I feel like we're doing oodles and oodles and more damage in general with everybody's weapons leveled up. Wise choice. Funky, using game mechanics for the win. I don't know, I always float by with whatever I got for the longest time until it needs to be changed, you know? It's kind of my MO. Use what works until it don't work no more. Damn it, don't kill me. Ah, dicks. Well, at least I have life bottles this time, so. <sighs> Wake me up. Stop blocking all my shit, you fucking snake. Dude, he does hella damage, though. Be careful. Finish him, man. Finish him. There it is. Fuck out of here, snaky boy. Finish him. Oh my god, he's literally about to die. Fuck off. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. Did I get some new boots? Yeah, Floric boots. We're going to put those on her. Ribbon's been done, but she doesn't have a backup for now. Calcite daggers are now done. To the Scorching daggers we go. And his Calcite boots, I'm going to put on those hard shoes. Okay. Cool. Beat that hard monster again. Did a little faster. Had life bottles that time, so that was nice. Okay, so remember, we're going to go save it first, and then we'll go fight the rematch with the bro. Also, damn it. I forgot about the dang expedition. Hold on. We still unlocked the C, which is good. Um, doesn't look like we got anything else new, so. Scout ship. Moving on. Alright. I am ready for your rematch, brother man. 
Although I don't know if I'm going to do any, any much better than I did earlier. I mean, the main thing was just level up my weapons and hope we do more damage. I feel like there's going to be a lot more to this dungeon, too. Because that torch thing was brand new. We just ran into that mechanic, and then we got stuck in a fight, so... Should be a good time. Gonna have a bad time. Feck off, Zambo. Oh, wait. Wrong way. All right, brother man. You bought Smash Bros? Nice. Took you long enough, Terra, but nice. Here we go. Okay, I think I'm already doing more damage. Shut up. You're I think. Make you I can't even tell, honestly. Come on now. Jesus, the fucking up. combo, though. All right, do it again. I'm trying to find the combo that works. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. See this? Okay, I wanted to have it on semi auto first of all. Damn it. Shit. Come on now. Don't tell Fuck, me man. He keeps stunning me when I'm about to die, so I'm fucked. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. All right, hold up. Back to semi auto, please. Would you like some mystic arts, motherfucker? Hell yeah, let's go. A demon. I like it. But alas, I think our fight's over. Roparo! What? My my body! I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here. Oh? No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Sigurai! Oh, calm Sugar down, Ray. Okuro. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Go ask that old bastard there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kuragane. The blacksmith from the story. I'll be waiting for you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me, you ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? You got a problem with it, lady? <sighs> <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir. I'm on a high-level mission. Eleanor, babe, I get it. You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. Uh, uh... He wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. 
But if we all fight him together... That won't work. But there is another way. What are you talking about? What way? Follow me. Okay. The demon blacksmith. Let's follow him. Right, we are sort of victorious. Maggie Lou looks crazy with that hair. I know, right? Velvet, aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. Probably gotta find some kind of metal to force a better sword, so Rokoro will have a chance. Anyway, triangle. What was that fat cat creature with Shigure? You mean Morgrim? She's a Moloch. She just looks different. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Moloch. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Moloch. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate, but he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Moloch arts. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. The Seven Wonders of the Abbey! No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No one! Except me, that is! Huh? This is all highly classified, but Morgrim is incredibly lazy. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was... grooming and defleeing! Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. She may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. <sighs> Anything else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Malak arts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. Mm -hmm. He is strong, boy. He's super strong. Okay, so didn't he go this way? Or did he go the other way? I don't know. I thought he walked over here. Oh, he probably did walk over here into the secret passage. <sighs> Wait. Hold up. Maybe. Let me check the other path first. Because that path had a lot going on. But yeah, I'm probably not very far off from... Hey, he's a blacksmith. He can make us a better sword, but we need a thing to make a better sword. Also, this is not the way I can go right now. It looks we blocked. We can't Dang best it. Shigure without a strategy. We should ask Rokuro what he knows about him. So that's probably the way I'm supposed to go to get out of here, but not yet. Anyway, good old grand old times. woo -ha! Got you all in check. Nothing on this dead end? I was about to say, not even one cat thing? Come on now. Don't tease me, video game. What were you thinking, Eleanor? Attacking a legate like that? Uh, well, oh. I just thought Rokuro was going to die if I didn't intervene. Oh? You'd kill one of your own allies for a demon? I... I acted without thinking. Sometimes I'm too soft-hearted to a fault. I'd say it's less that, and more just stupidity. You're supposed to be protecting Lafayette. Don't get yourself into trouble you don't need. Even if one of our own is in danger? Even then. This kid must be really important to her. All right. I understand. Lafayette. Next time she acts up, stop her. Understand? We don't know what she's got up her sleeve. Uh, okay. Thanks for not telling on me, Eleanor. And I'm sorry I hijacked your body. I understand how it feels to want to protect your friends. The problem's with those demons, not you. But I think Velvet has the capacity to feel the same way, too. At least when it comes to her brother. Is that why you're staying with her? I'm... I'm not sure. It 
it's hard to say. I have to figure out what's going on with this group. If I ever hope to wrest the child from them. Good luck convincing him. She basically feels like her little brother right now. And she's definitely treating him like so. And protecting him like so. So good luck with that. Because Velvet will eat your bitch ass. And then some. But anywho. Yeah. Little Laffy, he's a little, little strong in there, huh? He can control his own person who's supposed to be able to control him. Which is pretty interesting. He is strong, boy. Anyway, we don't need to fight a bunch of these worms. Big worms. Another sneaky hidey hole. Okay, this one at least looks like it goes to a dead end. A dead, a dead end, it looks like. Although it might go to another secret sneaky hidey hole. Panacea bottle. Panacea. 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 It is another sneaky hidey hole. Where does this one go? Oh my god, it's never ending, y'all. It's never ending, y'all. We ain't know nothing, y'all. Okay, so we can't jump across from y'all. Because we haven't learned that yet, god damn it. Are we going to learn that soon? Really hope so. What behind this rock? God, more secret hidey holes? This place is ridiculous. There's so many of these. I'm going to get lost as fuck. Oh my god, it's a good thing there is a map. Because Jesus right now. Because Jesus, Jesus, there's so many hidey holes to sneak through. It's like, what the fuck? Huh. No! Dangerous encounter! Oh shit, dude. Well, here we go. Could go wrong, could go okay. We shall see. I forget what combo is he's gonna go. Is it the circle one? The circle one. Oh shit, we have five. We have five! What am I doing? Dangerous encounter don't scare me none. Man, get fucked up, zombies. Ow. So many of them. Fucking whooping. Alright, no strong enemy came out at the end there. That's fine. Moonlight Cyclone. Nice. New moves. The Mars Satchel. Didn't already get a new satchel, though, for little boy to use? I did, and I forgot to equip it. Dang it. Well, Floric Bag. We're working on that still. I don't have a new ribbon for her yet. Okay, and Rokuro's out at the moon. I'm sure he shall return soon enough. Enough. I should have checked, like, which items I should have sold at the shop as well. Oh, well, next time I'm at a shop, we'll sell our excess, you know, valuables that are sellable. Is this another hidey hole? For once, it's not a hidey hole at the end of the fucking path. That's incredible. That's where every goddamn dead end had one for a minute there. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I tell you what.
And we have succubus horn earrings. Hmm. Okay. And I think that might be the end of this situation. Maybe. It certainly seems like it is. Also, ah, that's too many enemies on my ass. Too many enemies. Get away from me. You don't want to fuck with me. Because I'm a straight up OG. Hey. Okay, so... I came from that way. Yeah. So I haven't gone over here yet. Oh? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so I found the story five. We're definitely not going to be done in this dungeon after this, so let's just do this while we're here, and then we'll finish exploring on the way back out. Though there is a save point. Let's do that. I do that, do that, and do that, that, that. Uh-huh, that's right. Girl, move that ass. Mm -mm. Do that, and do that, and do that, that, that. Girl, mm -mm. move that ass. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Kuragane's workshop. There is totally going to be a fast travel spot here, right? Because there's no fucking way this is a one-time only spot. There's no way. We're coming back here with something that we don't have. Whoa! That's a lot of swords. Look at all those swords. That's what happens when the legendary blacksmith Kuragane toils so hard. He forgets to die. I gave up everything, thinking of nothing else but forging a sword that could surpass Storm Howl. And before I knew it, you had traded your humanity for demonhood. I see I'm not the only one. So great was your grudge against your brother, the inheritor of Storm Howl. Well, guess we're not so different. You don't suppose you could hammer me up a new sword, do you? I've forged countless blades over these long years, yet not one has proven a match for Storm Howl. And yet you still seek a Kurogane sword? I'll put it like this. No matter how much you've failed across the centuries, you've never broken. Well, I'm the same way. If anything can break Shigure and his god blade, it's the bitterness I carry. Strangely enough, seeing you and your brother has given me an idea that might work. I will forge you a new blade. Should we get some bright stone? Nope. No need for that. Huh? Should I take it from the top? If you would, my arms are all I'll be needing. What are you doing? Don't be alarmed. I'm just cutting free some raw materials for the sword. You see something new every day. You need his head to make the sword? That's right. With this fine clump of pure resentment. I shall forge your imitation storm howl anew. No. I only keep this imitation as a reminder of how weak-willed I was in the past. To defeat Shigure, I've perfected the art of dual wielding, a secret rangetsu technique. All right. If that's what you prefer, a pair of short swords it is. Ooh, a pair of short swords. Okay. Is he just going to make them right now? Come back at the end of the game. What the? Okay. Whoa. We'll wait outside.
<laughs> you two have fun. Okay, well, I guess while that's going on, we are mingling. Let's mingle. What up? The ship is on its way. Right on schedule. Of course it is. They don't have the Reaper on board. One more thing. Apparently, Shigure is Arturius's bodyguard. So we'll have to face him down sometime. No matter what. It's in our best interest to get rid of him while he's working alone. The problem is, Rokuro can't beat him by himself. Agreed. Shigure is not to be trifled with. Certainly. That's why, when Rokuro creates an opening, we're going to take Shigure out. You want us to meddle in somebody else's private quarrel? If it affects my own quarrel, yes. I suppose I'm in the same position. Besides, I can still use him. There's no sense in throwing his life away. Rokuro's not really a guy to care about the big picture. He might try to hack your limbs off a bit, but he'll get over it. He'll get over it. He's a nice guy deep down. He just goes a little crazy like a demon or something. I made the Enfu rush out to the docks to scout the place out. Pretty smart, am I right? I pity that creature sometimes. That Kurogane, though, what a character. Giving his own body to forge a sword, like some kind of ritual sacrifice. Ritual sacrifice? It's certainly something only a demon would do. It was a necessary sacrifice in order to gain power. A necessary sacrifice. What a vicious turn of phrase. Indeed. Still, I can't say I'm not thrilled to see how it all turns out. If what you give is mere meat for a god's morbid lunch, could there be a more trivial sacrifice? But if the offering is one's own body and soul, even a single hair can be portentous. I wonder what she will have been in the end. Pretentious or not? I don't know. Also, Los, what up, man? Welcome to the stream. And yes, um, I don't know if these qualify as shorts. They might have used to have been shorts, but they're definitely not much of a pair of shorts anymore. Just saying. Anyway, what's up, Eleanor? Rokuro, Kurogane. I just do not understand them. You saw them. Demons. We're crazy. Sure, but they go through life with such crystal clear sense of purpose. Even demons have things they're not willing to let go. Or do you think us mere animals, running around killing people left and right? I know, I know. I understand demons still have a certain consciousness, but I look at those two and they seem passionate, like normal people. Well, I've yet to meet a human so passionate he'd chop his own head off. Do you have a purpose like they do? I do, in fact. Ever since Artorius used my brother as a sacrifice. Typical demon nonsense. The Abbey exists to protect the people. Yes, sometimes cold, painful decisions need to be made to protect the many. But they never stoop to human sacrifice. Besides, as Shepherd, Artorius will cleanse the world of... If that's what you think, ask the precious Shepherd yourself. Ask him just what he did three years ago. He wouldn't. He'd never. Oh, he never. Yeah, my ass. He definitely did. When we're done chatting, we'll switch up Aizen's outfit tomorrow. Indeed. We will do that after this whole set of scenes. When we get back to actually moving around. Rokuro wants to slay his brother, even if it kills him. And Kurogane had his own head lopped off just to forge powerful swords. How do those two find it in themselves to go so far? It's just how they are. They're demons. Not exactly normal. Yeah, it's scary. But I also kind of admire it. But me, I don't have anything I'm that desperate to accomplish. Not yet, you mean. In time, you'll find something. You really think so? Almost certainly. But don't feel you have to go and risk your life over it. You're not a demon. And you should stay that way. You deserve a normal life. Okay. But never mind. Just the foolish ramblings of a demon girl. A group of freighters have left the docks and are headed this way! They said they were coming to purge Eleanor the traitor! Purge? Velvet, what do we do? We take them head on. And you're fighting with us, Eleanor. An order, I presume. It is. Protect Lafayette. And defeat the exorcists. All right. I understand. Just remember, if we lose Eleanor, Lafayette will turn into a demon. I haven't forgotten. 
but we need to pool all the resources we have. She needs us for her own ends. Then we'll use that to our advantage in this fight. Just don't push your luck too far, Velvet. And so recently was she a noble, upstanding young exorcist. How quickly one falls when entering Velvet's dark orbit. Ask me if I care. Ask me if I give a shit. Alright, before we forget, let's switch up Aizen's outfit, Mara. What would you like to see? Right now he's wearing the servant outfit. What would you prefer? We've already worn the pirate outfit, just FYI, but I don't mind it. It's pretty good. We have not worn the swimming summer wear, swimwear. Otherwise, you go back to regular. We don't have a lot of choices, to be fair. So here's our choices. What sounds good? I mean, I'm guessing you're going to go with the swimwear if I know you at all. <laughs> Orange swimwear? That's kind of what I was going to guess. What kind of hair you want? Get rid of the glasses? You got it. We'll switch the we'll switch his accessory in a second, but uh, what kind of hair you want? Pirate style? Pony? You, got, you like the little mini fucking man bun pony? Or the slick back hat style? Do I like playing dress up? I mean, in a video game? Sure, it's fun. Give me that fucking pony. All right, we'll, we'll go pony and we'll... The, the rubber bands are so fucking small to tell what color they are. They're just different colors, I think. Yeah, they are. I'll just pick the one that matches number two. Okay, in terms of glasses, what, what, what kind of accessory are we looking for? We got cowboy hat. We got the halo. We got some sunglasses. Got the rosy cheeks. Servant bow tie. The bow tie doesn't make any fucking sense. I forgot about the mini Lloyd doll from fucking Symphonia. That's awesome. I forgot about that. Uh, good times. Okay. Um, you want the rosy cheeks? Is that what you actually want, or are you just laughing at them? Is that the ones you actually want? Yep. Okay. Rosy cheeked. Let's go. And you know what? Since we're not even using them right now, let's put them back in the party. If I'm in this, I... If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. An elephant faithful 100%.